And Marie, it was actually a private event, media not allowed inside. Talk to parents though, they said it was small. In fact, too small, considering the student body is 3,400, but they say it is a step in the right direction. The goal to empower parents to educate and to enact a cultural change. You have to turn words into action. Anti-defamation league here at Arborview High first working with staff and tonight parents. I learned a lot. I learned that they really are taking this serious. Two teens arrested for racial threats in March. This is part of the district's plan of action. Here at Arborview we're creating and modeling for other schools a cultural turnaround. Parents say it's a start. It's a very, very, very basic beginning small step and it was a small crowd. Considering the population of students, it was a very small crowd. But with only 70 parents registered, some worry it's not enough. In all honesty, I'm very disappointed. I thought that there were going to be more. But the Anti-Defamation League says it has to begin somewhere, and this is the beginning of a much bigger conversation. Hopefully their neighbors will talk to them. Hopefully their friends will speak to them. Hopefully they'll speak to one another. The students will now be, or the parents will be empowered to say that this is not okay. Well, the ADL says it takes time to enact change. The district hoping this is something that they can instill district-wide. Reporting live tonight outside Arborview High School, Heather Mills, CW11.